Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into the gigging economy as well as giving you practical advice on how to get gigs. Before we get into it, if you could leave a like, that really helps push the video out to more musicians like yourselves looking to get gigs in pubs, and it supports the channel as well. So first of all, did you know that the gigging economy is actually growing? Over the last couple of years, more musicians have decided to try and get gigs in pubs and work it alongside their regular day job. But now they've started making more and more money from gigging in pubs, so they're actually giving up their day job and just becoming a full-time musician or at least having music as their primary source of income. If that's something you want, make sure you stick to the end of the video because I'm going to give a few tips that will help you out. And if you're interested in learning more about building a set list for a gig, feel free to download the free template that's in the description. My first tip would be identify your niche and target audience. What genre of music do you sing and perform? And what do you want to be recognised with? For example, if you choose pop music, what area of pop music are you going to be more like Taylor Swift, more like Ed Sheeran, more like Justin Bieber? Really hone in on that specific thing that's going to make you stand out from everybody else. Over time, the more you play this genre of music in the pubs and in open mic nights, the more people will identify you with that specific area of music. This is going to be great for when people are looking to book a specific genre or type of musician. You're going to be the one that's called upon because you're automatically recognised to be a good musician that plays that particular genre. It's important to mention as well, your image should fit your genre. For example, if you're going to sing Ed Sheeran love songs, maybe don't dress up as a heavy metal guitarist. That will create a clash and people won't quite know who you are, even if you're consistent with playing the same genre of music. It's not very on brand. Now music's a bit different to other businesses because it's very difficult to do this, but it might be something that helps you out. If you go around open mic nights and you see there's a lot of the same genre going on, maybe consider either changing area if you want to play that same genre, or playing a slightly different genre or twist on that genre so that you stand out from everybody else. If you're just playing the same songs that everybody else is playing, there's no reason why they would hire you over somebody else, unless you're significantly better. But let's assume that everyone's the same level, what's going to make you stand out from the other people? The best way to do this is to do sort of, say it was the pop music example, everyone's playing Ed Sheeran songs, play Ed Sheeran songs but do it with more of a reggae style, or do it with more of a country vibe. These slight changes can actually be really cool and definitely catch people's attention, and make other people really like your interpretations of those songs. As with any industry, networking is super important, so going to open mic nights, speaking to other musicians, speaking to people who are even just friends that like listening to music, Go to the open mic nights with them, go to pub gigs with them, always socialise with the musicians that are actually getting gigs at the moment. If you see that they're playing in a pub near you, go and support them if you don't have a gig that night because it really shows that you care, number one. But number two, you'll be able to have conversations with them and they'll be more likely to want to help you as you have supported them. Offering them things like drinks as well, they most likely say no because a lot of people get free drinks, but it shows that you're willing to sort of put yourself out there and you're also willing to offer them something. Alongside getting gigs in pubs, feel free to sign up for a website like Fiverr or other sort of singing and gigging sites. This means that if you have the ability to record at home, you could be doing that alongside trying to get gigs in pubs and other venues. This is just going to help boost your income, especially when you're trying to step away from a 9 to 5 job, you're going to want as much income as possible. So if in a Saturday morning you can be doing a Fiverr gig for somebody, and then Saturday night, Friday night and Sunday you can just be doing gigs, that's perfect. Every time you play a gig, make sure to put an audience response on your story. By this I mean if somebody takes a video of you and tags you, make sure you repost that on your story because it shows that you have social proof that you are actually good and people are enjoying watching your stuff. This is going to make other pubs who are just prospecting your Instagram or whatever social media you're using, that you are getting out there and you're being received well. They're much more likely to book you if you do this. It's also important to stay organised and be efficient. For example, if you've got 30 different pubs in your list of contacts, make sure you've actually got a list of contacts that you can work down. It's very easy as a musician to think, oh yes, I play there, I play there, I play there, I play there, and forget one or two pubs that you need to chase up with. Once you've built this list, make sure you're contacting them regularly to make sure you're getting booked as often as possible. If you call somebody up and they don't return your call, make sure you're following them up because they might have just not been near the phone and don't check their voicemail. So if you give them another call and they're on their phone, then you might get the gig that you would have missed if you hadn't called back. If you found value in today's video, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. Make sure to check out the free setlist checklist down below in the description and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!